Hey there, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss any of our latest videos. Today, we're going to talk about NBA trades that would feel just wrong. We've got four hypothetical trades that could work theoretically, but would definitely raise some eyebrows if they ever went down. Let's start with the first one. Dylan Brooks, joining LeBron James in LA. The Lakers might like how their roster looks for now, but it's possible they'll eventually find themselves in need of a perimeter stopper. Could that need become big enough for them to bring Brooks to Hollywood? Probably not, since he just beefed with LeBron James in April, calling him old and adding, I poke bears, and don't respect anyone until they come and give me 40. And in the game after Brooks made those comments, he was ejected for a flagrant foul two after hitting James in the groin area. Naturally, James got the last laugh as his seventh-seeded Lakers ousted Brooks and the second-seeded Memphis Grizzlies in six games. The latter's tenure on Beale Street effectively ended in that series, and he wound up signing a four-year, $86 million deal in Houston this offseason. Moving on to the second trade, James Harden to the Heat apologies to Tyler Harrow. But you actually aren't safe from more trade talks. Not as long as Miami remains in need of a perimeter shot creator who could help Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo unlock this team's championship potential. Harden, who skipped the Sixers media day amid his ongoing attempt to get traded out of Philly, remains a capable candidate for that role. He may no longer have quite as much burst as he once did, or the bonkers scoring numbers of his prime, but he just topped 20 points per game for the 11th consecutive season while also collecting the second assist title of his career. Now, let's move on to the third trade, New York welcoming Trey Young. The Knicks are sitting atop a mountain of trade assets and just so happen to be one impact addition away from rising to the ranks of a full-fledged contender. They just need the right star to shake loose. They likely don't have Young atop the wish list since they already have an ascending star at point guard in Jalen Brunson. Then again, they were mentioned in the Damian Lillard and James Harden sweepstakes, so they seemingly aren't totally against the idea of adding a scoring playmaker. And finally, the fourth trade. Jimmy Butler teams back up with Carl Anthony Towns. It makes sense to double up on possible Miami trades here, as the Heat seem as likely as anyone to make a major move this season. You'll never hear that sentiment directly out of South Beach, where skipper Eric Spolstra perpetually believes his team has enough to compete. But there's a reason the Heat keep being linked to just about every shot maker on the market. And that's it for today's video. Which trade do you think would feel the most wrong? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more NBA news and analysis. Thanks for watching.